person who buys your product, does the person need to use the product? And the person who buys your product, does the person pay for your product? Let me ask you this question. How many of you have children? <laughs> Not yet. I have three. When I take one of my children to a store, am I the customer? Or am I, my child the customer? Let's say the child wants to have a uh, I don't know, soccer jersey, right? So I, I took my daughter to buy a new soccer, soccer jersey. Is my daughter the customer or I'm the customer? I'm the customer? Or she's the customer? You see, we, we already start to have a little bit of uh, disagreement here. Why do you think that I'm the customer? That makes me feel good. Yes. <laughs> I still have my decision power, right? I have some of that. However, why do you think my daughter is the customer? She's the one that wants it. If she wasn't there, you wouldn't buy it. That's exactly right. I have someone who wants that product. And sure enough, if it was up to me, I would not buy anything. I want to keep my money just so that my pension reform loss will be compensated for or something, right? So now you see that there's some very subtle, subtle points about who, is, who wants the product, who pays for the product, and so on, right? Just in this very simple case. Let's go into this in a little bit more detail. Oh, yes. I think the person who uses it. The user, right? The person who uses it, right? So now, let me, let me do it this way. I take my daughter to a store, and my daughter wants to buy a birthday present for one of her friends. Who is the customer here? <laughs> okay. But I think I made the point clear enough that you know, there are some room for discussion here, right? So I actually don't, I'm not pushing for a particular answer, but I just want you to understand the level of uncertainty here. 